All right, I'm gonna go over how to um, code with in vivo with you. And so let me pull it up here. All right, so when you pull up in vivo for the first time, you will only have these two top uh, icons here. The rest of what you're seeing down here is only populated once you have created a project. So you will create a new project, title it whatever you want, maybe pilot interview, maybe signature assignment, whatever you want to do, and then create. When it pulls up, you'll see you have some different sections here. This is called the ribbon up top, and the ribbon area is where you pretty much have all of your commands that you're going to be using. Um, over here we have different folders that will hold all the different aspects of your analysis um, and they are in these groupings of data, codes, cases, notes, search and maps. We will only be working with data and codes uh, for the purposes of this assignment. We'll talk about what the other ones are for in the fall. Um, files is where your data files will go. Uh, nodes is where all of your codes and your coding uh, schema will be held. So um, whenever you click on something in here, what is in that folder, so you just click on the folder once and what's in that folder will pop up here. Then you click on whatever you want to see in more detail here, click twice, and it will actually open up in this section. So it's kind of uh, um, getting more detailed and even more detailed after that. So anyway, click on data to upload something. You'll have a document, which is your transcript. Uh, mine is called high school transcript. So if I just do a search for high school, HS, this is what I want to put in. So that import takes a bit of time. Um, every import, the, obviously the larger your um, file, the longer it takes to import. I believe that the import, um, max is 40 megabytes. So uh, you could rename this if you want. I usually, if you have a particular person that you're, whose transcript you're uploading, I would put the pseudonym of that person. Um, if it's an observation, maybe the date of the observation or something like that. I'm just gonna keep it at high school transcript for now though. So um, now my high school transcript has opened up here. So this is what a transcript should look like. I had some questions on what it looks like. It's just a Word document where uh, you have a, you put your name and then you put your, you know, what that person said. And then the next is just looks like a, a regular old script. So in order to start coding, I'm actually going to click on codes over here, which for some reason, why am I? There we go. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to click on nodes is what I'm going to click on. Never mind, not codes, nodes. So you click on this folder and you can see it's empty because I don't I haven't set up any codes yet. So this was a um, if you remember from class, this was a um, focus group that I did with students who had had teachers from other nations in their classrooms for about a month. And I'm looking at what they got out of that experience. The uh, literature review and the framework that we're dealing with talked specifically about outcomes. Um, so if you, I'm on a Mac right now, so if you tap the, um, the touchpad with two fingers, it will bring up this um, box. You will ask, like, you can actually create a code, what they call a top level node. You can create a code before you even get started. So for me, um, one of the things that was in our theoretical framework was openness to new cultures. So I would expect that to be possibly something I might find if I tap with or click with two fingers again. Um, the other thing that was really prominent in the literature review was just simple awareness of other cultures. So um, if I put this, you'll see that it automatically puts it in alpha order here. So I will set those up initially, but now I'm gonna go through and I'm going to simply see what I see, what are the topics that I'm seeing. 
So right here, we talked about the fact that this had to do with education. Education is not one of my existing codes. So if I select the item that I want to code to education, and then somewhere inside that selection, I tap with two fingers, it's all the way down here where you want to code the selection at a new node. You have to go all the way down here to do that. And then I'm gonna code that at education. I also am noticing that the person is talking about differences rather than similarities. So I want to note that as well. So again, now that this is, this is already selected, I'll now see when I re-clicked it, it's unselected. So let's get that and select. And I want to code the selection again at another new node, which I am going to call differences. Okay. One helpful thing that I didn't cover in class is that if you look at view up on the ribbon, there's this thing you have to unselect, but there's this uh, thing called coding stripes. So if you want to give, if you want to see coding stripe at all nodes that you are coding, it will actually visually, it has these little bars that show where you have coded something. And if you click on them, it will highlight the portion that was, was uh, clicked to that. Now you see, I don't see my whole transcript anymore, but you can actually drag these and you can drag this as well and get to where you can see the whole transcript. So now I'm gonna go through, um, now this one, uh, so she's talking about celebrations here. This whole thing is kind of talking about celebrations. So I'm going to code this to celebrations. But there's also something else. This is also differences. Now, I already have differences up here, so this makes it easy. I just take this selection, and then so take select it, and then you just drag it, and it will actually drop it in differences. See, and you can see these are coming up as I code them. But I wanted to see right here, it seemed like the community was like more open compared to like here. She's talking about kind of a community cohesiveness or a sense of community. So I'm going to actually code that as well to that sense of things. So I'm gonna code it at a new node and I'm gonna call it community cohesiveness. All right, so, um, and you'll see, look here, people were more comfortable with each other. She's talking, continue to talk about in the other country. That's, that's again, community cohesiveness. And then uh, this, she's talking about the celebration again. So we're gonna talk, that goes to celebrations. And then this whole thing is again, sometimes it'll do that. You see I selected it and then when I clicked, it kind of was almost thinking I needed it. It was trying to make a new selection. So if you actually kind of hold it just a second before you start dragging, it will, realize that you're dragging, not reselecting something. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, differences. So you just start doing that and you can actually see here on the coding stripes, um, you know, what you, what you have coded, unselect so that you can see this is here. I don't know why that isn't selecting, but this, and then the um, education is here differences here. So, ah, I think maybe just because of that. Hmm. I don't know why that's not selecting. But the other thing you can do, I'm going to get show you two things about this. If you if you drag this out of the way so that you start seeing everything that's over here and you can see these little sections can be you can actually drag these. Now files, that's that's talking about how many of your uh, different files are being coded. Since you are only dealing with one file for the for this assignment, this will always be either zero or one. But as you start creating references, um, and I'll just put ref there, you can actually start getting a count of how much one of these things is coming up, how much each 
of these uh, topics are coming up. So you can start getting a sense of what the conversation really touched on most. Um, and you can see how doing this across, for, down the full transcript and across several participants, you start to really get um, a more holistic sense of what people are bringing up again and again and again. And uh, that's, that is what helps you complete your analysis and figure out what really the themes are and what the participants are saying as a whole. So I hope that all helps and um, I will post another um, video soon with a PC so um, you can see some of the differences if you are working off of a PC, but it, the mechanisms are fairly, fairly similar, so you should be okay. Just a note, you can edit by clicking here. You can edit your um, transcript. Um, this is, for example, how you go through your transcript when you have to uh, change out names of maybe a place for a pseudonym so that your transcript doesn't give away where you were and who you were talking to. So you can edit, but you cannot code when you're in edit mode. So you need to make sure you're uh, out of that edit mode so that you can um, so that you can see everything. So like coding stripes are now, you can put back on. So, okay. Anyway, uh, that is, if you have any questions, let me know. And other than that, we will, um, I, I, yeah, I'm just available if you need me. And hope that this works well for you. Thanks.